Got a got a great venue for you now. With two losses here and today a bit of a, a tough thing. What what went wrong today? You know, we, we did the game get away from you after a pretty tight first half. Uh, well, congratulations to those guys. They've been playing fantastic, and um, you know, just you got a big piece of humble pie in this league, and you know, we got our butts handed to us. So um, it is what it is, and you know, like I told our guys, you know, we're, we're we're sitting four and four, and we've had to me the toughest stretch of the season now is over with October, and um, at some point it was a little bit of just trying to survive October to get to where we are, and I'm not satisfied, but I'm quite. Um, uh, Relieved, at least, that we're sitting uh, in the position we are, because uh, uh, we've had a hell of a month, and our guys have done quite well. What are they doing well at the moment? Clearly, um, you know, something's going right for them because they've, um, you know, they've got a, a nice sort of stretch going. Yeah, I mean, we've won four games in a row, obviously, and we had two games, you know, including the last time we were here, went down to the last minute, and the Southeast game early on uh, was tied early. The the, the Cans team um, beat our butt, but. Um, you know, our defense has gotten a little bit solider and our offense has gotten a little bit better. And the great news is we got a tremendous amount of growth uh, left in us. And, um, you know, with the potential of Clint Steinle coming back and Magnite coming back next month. And so our group just continues to get um, some depth and, and uh, growth. And, yeah. In terms of the breakers, what, what have you been impressed with about, about their ball? Well, I think the biggest thing that they've have done is obviously they've they've defended, but I think they got their three imports um, 100 percent correct, and um, that is a, a great starting point for them. Sam, what was it like out there? You know, um, against that, uh, I guess defensive pressure they were able to apply. Yeah, like Scott said, credit to them. Um, they come out right from the jump and hit us with pressure, um, and yeah, we just didn't do a good job of responding um, and staying composed really. So yeah, credit to them. Throw it to the uh, anyone on Zoom, far away? Yeah, Scott, just following up on their, their defence, that's twice you've played them now and you've really struggled to get anything going against them and I think clearly they're the best defensive team in the league right now. What are they doing so so well, the defensive end that's making them tough to score against? Well, the first game, they both struggled to score against you till there was a two-point game in the low 60s with a minute to go, so... Um, to me, that was a wash, and, and today they just got after us. Um, you know, in the third period there, when you when you put two 30-point quarters um, together, uh, it's very hard to, to sustain anything. And um, the two games that we've gotten smacked, cans, and this one, we, we've given up 30-point quarters. And so uh, to have multiple ones in a game is hard to survive. So. Um, and they're, they're, you know, they're, they're um, you know, they're playing well. They're playing together, and um, they got a nice team. And Sam, it's obviously a tough time to talk about it after a, a game like that. But you had, a, you had a tough month there where you were on the sidelines. You must be just happy to be back out on the court and finding your groove again, back back in this team. Yeah, absolutely. I'm personally happy to be back playing, obviously. But you know, for me, it's about the team and about winning. Uh, that's the number one priority, and so um, we didn't weren't able to do that today, and so not that happy, you know. Um, obviously, it's a blessing to be out there and, and playing the game I love. Um, but yeah, we've got bigger goals. You had a really, a really good off season. You had an outstanding NBL one season, obviously, and then you got hurt, which hurt your momentum a little bit. But how are you feeling coming into this season, and and in the growth that you you've been able to make over, the, I guess, the off season to that you hope to see bring bring into this season now? Yeah, obviously it was a bit of an awkward time to get injured right before the season, right before the blitz. Um, and so I kind of lost a little bit of footing there. But, you know, credit to the guys, credit to Shawnee Mack and, and Isaac White um, and those guys for stepping up and holding down the fort. Uh, I think they've done a great job uh, in the time that, not me, but Clint and Magne have also been injured. Um, so, yeah, just, just happy to, for myself to be back out there, but also happy for those guys to get that opportunity. You had such momentum over the past four games, and then you had a week off, and then you played this game and struggled. What, Sam, what did you see out there today that you, the team didn't do that you had been doing over those last four games, and I guess that you hope to get back on track now on, on Thursday night? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I can't really pinpoint it. Um, like we said earlier, New Zealand come out from the jump and, and kind of just jumped us. You know, I don't know if we weren't ready or... You know, I like to think we were ready, but you know they were more f more physical than us. Um, they had better pressure than us, um, and they were hitting shots as well. So, credit to them for all the threes they hit. Um, but yeah, on our side, we got to be better with our rotations, our communication, um, and there's just a whole lot more things, more areas that we can grow in. And Sam, you've been 
And Scott, what are your thoughts now on the trip to Perth for, for Thursday night? And what do you want to see from your team once you get there? Well, I'm excited to go to Perth because I want to see the sun. I haven't seen the sun in 10 days. So that's my number one priority, to get to the beach and smoke a cigar and see the sun. I'll worry about Perth when I get to Perth. Um, whatever we, I don't even know when we play them. I can't wait to see the sun. Um, Thursday night you, you play. Um, I'll be there. Just finally, just finally from me, um, it sounds like Will and Clint might be getting closer. Any idea when you might expect to see them? Uh, man, I'm keeping my fingers crossed we see them in November. So uh, we don't. We have a light schedule in November, and we have a few more times to practice and um, keep my fingers crossed. Especially for Magne, uh, Clint is on track, and Magne is very close. And and um, you know they'll give us some depth. But you know having them back doesn't mean you know they're just seamlessly going to hop back in there and everything is going to be fine or whatever it may be. It's going to take some some time along with Sam to to get his game feet underneath them and to get some more reps out on the floor, and and that takes some time. And you know Clint's missed. I think about five months, four and a half months worth of playing, and obviously Magna is pushing almost a year. So uh, even though they're back, it's going to take some time. But uh, they've been practicing with us five on five, and they've given us some uh, great moments in practice and some good signs for us. So we'll see how it goes in November for us. Thank you, guys. Yep. Thank you. That's it.